So, hi everyone. Today I'm just going to continue the, the stream from last time and I'm going to paint the third person here which was the farmer that came to beg the two the, uh, to find samurai. <coughs> he was looking for I believe <coughs> five samurai or something or four or something like that but he uh, he was told to find five but there were seven samurai that he ended up finding and um, this is the first samurai that he's approaching so this is uh, the still frame and now I'm going to draw him in however what I want to do is I want to really um, now because I made everything lighter I can either darken it here and just darken everything by hand or I can use a layer correction so I might just do that <coughs> use a layer correction at the end so I can darken all this stuff uh, because it's a little too light and um, and yeah so let's see what happens so I have a f layer with samurai on it and then I'll make the this person here as well But before I do that I'm also thinking I should add some nice shadow right here so these shadows will go let me use my this hexagon brush I got from Imad uh, he, um, he has like tons of brushes when you download the pack it's like a literally um, tons of brushes and just um, um, I got his I got Scott Robertson's uh, from when you buy his book how to draw I believe you uh, get access to his brushes as well so you should um, definitely buy his Ro Scott Robertson's book how to draw because you also get tons of um, his video material as well which is um, you really love because it's amazing how to draw is um and how to render they're like my favorite books um, like people say they're kind of dry and stuff but I really really love those books uh, and I guess they're right there it is kind of dry it's a lot of rules and things like that but it's worth it it's uh, you learn everything you need to be able to draw from imagination awesome amazing things so yeah, it's, it probably is a little dry, but that's what comes with the territory. You gotta put in the work to get some awesome results. So I'm just working on his feet, working on those highlights. I really want these to pop. The highlights can tell the story of the shape that's underneath. Or it's just the shape of the form itself, the leg. It's a really cool highlight on the leg right here. Okay, I don't want to get too lost like last time and just overwork certain uh, parts of the body and stuff and just zoom in and just get lost because I think the last time I kind of did a lot of that so this time I'm uh, just trying to be more um, just keep zooming out and be more uh, deliberate not mess with that stuff too much oh so this now is on another layer and it would be here so this is a layer without these guys I 
Let's draw that little bench here on the side. Okay, got some cool stuff happening here. Um, let's go back here. This looks like I um, did not erase this properly. Okay, this is going to be covered as well by his hat. That's what I forgot to put here. So let's do that. That, that seems to be a... If I look at the tone, some parts of the tone are pretty dark. Some parts of the hat are pretty light. So this, this part is in shadow. I can do this. Show them in the right area, the right layer. This is going in. <coughs> and then just get this part, get this hat and get some textures for the hat and the highlight for the hat and hopefully it will show up. It will read as a hat. It's a cool straw hat. This looks like this hat should be a little bit higher. I made it too low. So what I could do is just um, wrap around this thing and bring it higher. Okay. Like this. Okay, that's better. Now I have to also think about the proportions. I'm just going to leave it like this, but I think these proportions are a little off because um, these back flaps are too low. If I spend way too much time on this, it's not going to be good. Let me just get all this out of the way. Because it's going to bother me. So I might as well fix it. Because he's the main character in the story. He's also one of my favorite actors. He's like the main, he is the main character in the story, I would say. Well, there's seven main characters. And he's one of the main ones. Like the main, main ones. He's there from the beginning. And he's basically their leader. He's the leader of all the samurai. Yeah, I like his character a lot. So this actor, I believe he died in 1982. <coughs> this film was made in the 50s. Um, by Akira Kurosawa. It's a good movie, very good movie. I liked it a lot. And I recommend you watch it too. It was fun to watch. And uh, um, yeah. See, these darks gotta be a little darker because they're not helping by being uh, merging with everything. Well, that's also why I shouldn't have uh, spent so much time on just a few parts. Uh, like overdoing just one area, I was actually supposed to be working on the next guy. I kind of overdid this.
Okay. I think that's a lot better. It's higher. It's um, close than what they were before. And now I can start working on his hat. I mean, I'm a little bit more happy with his clothes. So, his hat is interesting. And has a few different tones. This is the darkest tone. There's some light tones that come in here. Now, if I can <coughs> get some uh, of this texture, that will look nice. So, here we go. Some texture coming in. Making a lips for the inside. So, you see that texture of the hat now which is good. Lighten that up, the texture on that hat. It's basically the same texture brush I use in the background, which you can see, which I have to fix this areas in the back. Because they're too uh, white and they're taking attention away. And I don't want your attention necessarily to go there. And then I just move my brush back up. Uh, that's actually in Clip Studio Paint. That's set to, um, you can make all these changes through um, man, I made the sleeve too low. It's all right. I can't do anything about that now. So his hand can be here. Let's uh, do this. His hand's catching some light right here. Bump for the ulna. Get some darks up in here, just a little bit, just to give the impression, because it doesn't matter. I don't <laughs> like last time I was kind of going too deep, and I looked uh, back, thought back, and I was like uh, thinking, reminding myself that it's not necessary to do all that work um, on smaller details that are not the focal area. So when one side gets light, the other side should get darker. Just a good thing to remember. Uh, you can just pay attention to things around your house. One side is lighter, one side is uh, the other side will be darker. It's just um, usually if it's a symmetrical object, that's what you're going to see. I'm gonna go down, change my brush again. And uh, let's see what I changed it to. Whoa, that was really far down. Oh, okay. I had to hit the period button. Alright, so this is my dude now. My favorite person I, you know. Uh, <coughs> Just learning from these old videos and old movies, it's really great, it's fun. I was talking about in the last uh, stream about this. It's just really fun to do. Okay, now I could work on my next guy, which is right here. I want to um, make him really cool and interesting. And um, have their eyes looking at him directly. So now, because their eyes are looking this way, right, they, they both have to meet him here. They both have to meet his face. So it's a uh, kind of a, a challenging thing. I have, at least I have these to help me, like the frame. But if you didn't have the frame, you'd have to draw out perspective grids on the bottom and uh, connect everybody's uh, placement in 3D space. This person is playing like the peasant farmer who's coming to get help from the samurai, from any samurai he can since they are being invaded. Their village is constantly being invaded by uh, other people, by bandits who are doing horrible things and kidnapping people and stuff. 
and uh, taking their food and harvest. So I believe this will look nice. And if you notice, the lightest parts of this entire scene are on this man, the peasant. In this scene, he becomes the focal point. Because he's, the, first of all, he's the only person's face we can see. And human beings relate to faces. So, And then also, he's the lightest in the entire scene. Squint your eyes and see. He has the most light on him. And so I want to capture that. And I have to try to make his head like the same size as these guys' heads. So it's not too big, not too small. Just looking at proportions and stuff. Looking at the proportion of this as he's bending down. Looking at the light coming this way. Look at how bright his hat is. I think it might even go all the way up to like white or something. I'm, I'm going to save the white for the end. Something uh, Craig Mullen says often. Save your lights, lightest lights. I made him a little too far. But because now I would be more careful if I couldn't do this. If this was traditional media. But since I can do this, I'm not going to be that careful. I'm just going to grab him with the lasso tool. <coughs> since I did this in layers, I could just scoot him forward. See that? Ta -da. Nice. Nice. So, so that just makes things easier. Um, use whatever tools you have and make things easy for you. Um, people use like um, 3D um, figures and stuff. Now, here's the thing. Like, I I'm cool with that if, if that's what you want to do. You should make things easier. I, I also love to work in traditional. Because what also when you make things harder on the flip side, you get stronger, you get better at a lot of things that you wouldn't have if you made things easier for yourself. It's like uh, the more resistance you pack on in the gym, the stronger you'll get, right? So it's the same concept. So you should try to make things easier. What I could have done is just erase everything and redid it. But uh, honestly, for the stream, I'm not... Uh, last time it was a bit long and I, I wanted to shorten it this time and I'd rather take shortcuts this time but <coughs> if you really did want to improve um, making things harder for yourself is a good way to improve in all honesty um, so that's, that's uh, yeah it is because you're increasing the resistance and that's a good thing to um, to do Looks like I took a pen tool. I needed a brush tool. I brought a pen to a brush fight. That's not good. Okay. So I can see now. I have a general idea. This is his shirt. Now I'm just thinking about proportions and I'm thinking about his anatomy. Is my anatomy correct? Without just looking at the reference, because I have a reference where I can look at directly. Remember, this is like that part about making things harder for yourself. Um, uh, you should just look at the, think about the body and then use the reference to aid you. But always think about why things are the way they are. So here I'm going to think about the body. And like why it is happening, why certain things are going on. So his knee is going to be behind him. His other knee is here. Getting lit, like the curves, the flowing um, uh, parts of his uh, pants are going to be lit by that light source in the back.
his neck coming in now let me just zoom back zoom out and make sure this looks correct like is this the good a good um read for his gesture <coughs> and it's not for at least of what i see right now what i'm going to do is make this more apparent and make his other arm really apparent like he's really making that a kind of like an a shape while his arm comes down and then he's here and his other arm is basically hidden by this bright 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 uh, hat straw hat Okay, here we go here so is this better red no nah. let me make it let me exaggerate it even more from perhaps the exaggerate more from the frame so now i'm making my own decisions um let me delete this i'm gonna take i'm gonna take the easy route let me just delete it instead of changing things let me just uh do it the wrong way this and this here a little bit longer, right? Just repaint it. Okay. And here. <sighs> yes, this is better. Okay, the background, I'm just going to darken around his head in the background layer. I'll just do that right now. Uh, let me take some darks here. Let's just do this really nicely over here. And now his head will really pop and shine against that darker background. Got these um, things moving here textures especially the textures are around him which is nice because I want to show that this is my focal point so if I add more busyness around these areas that will be nice it's a nice thing to do smart move just darken everything first so I this whole painting, I just used that texture brush, but now and I'm starting to use the hexagon brush. So this again is from Imad's brushes. The, and the texture brush was called Fabriza Textura. Right here, Farba Z Textura. That's all. But it, like uh, many people say, like the, like the pros say, uh, the, um, the, uh, brushes doesn't matter <coughs> it's not the brush that matters it's how you wield the brush okay so that's why most of them they, they use their um they just use like a regular uh, um they use a regular round brush a lot of times for for I mean, at least the main main parts. So now again, I'm not trying to get lost too much. So I'm just trying to do some get my uh, tones right. And I'm sorry, my proportions right first. That's my goal. My proportion, my gesture. See now he's like really spreading his arms out, and that's what I like to see. This is what I want to see out of someone that's really like putting themselves out there and like begging for help I mean I don't want to see that in a real person I'm just trying to say that when you're doing a movie or something like that you have to sell each gesture and um, this is important like really sell everything I'm gonna move his eyes higher because right now they're too low. Because he has to be looking up at these guys. That's a lot better. Maybe even move it even higher to 
really sell that again. I'm just trying to sell everything. Closer to finished. Looks like I'm just still working on the general read and the general gesture of this person. If now, because we're in perspective, this arm is too long, so I can't make it sprawl out as far as I wanted, and um, unless I match it up with this arm right here. So let's see. Maybe I could do that. Let's see. Let's just see what can, what, what can get done. Definitely going up higher. Show his fingers there. eyes higher. I want his eyes even higher. Really like looking up at them like. So this is where I, I do see from the um, um, still frame. Now remember the movie he probably did look higher at them and the movie he probably did sprawl out further and whatever else. Uh, his arms right to really sell that. But this is just a still frame I took from a screenshot of the movie. So it's not going to show everything. And this is a still frame. So in a still frame, we have to show more than, because uh, you're if you're an artist that you like, you know, doing still frames and stuff, you have to show more story than what the still frame is giving you. Because if you don't, um, you could be losing information, a lot of information, and uh, because the frame is so, it's just a still frame. It's not moving. So for that reason. Um, want to make things clear as possible I don't want to ruin the movie but um so I'm not going to say anything about any spoilers but yeah it was a really fun movie to see and the coolest thing like I was saying before many times is that you can really f almost feel like you're there you can feel like you're in the time long ago and the actors have passed away so it's like their history that they're leaving for us for progeny and all their work, their hard work in creating the film, uh, their personalities, their 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 energy, you know, like their care for the character, and they made it timeless. Um, it's a very beautiful movie who, that was copied many times too, by like for instance, uh, the Magnificent Seven. Um, that's what I have. Uh, heard I didn't see that movie Magnificent Seven so I don't know but I mean it looks like it copied it a lot like I mean or, or heavily inspired so was uh, Ants I think was people say from other things and I have seen Ants and yeah it was inspired by that as well which is uh, a lot of times you know you are inspired by great movies but if it's like a word for word like a knockoff kind of thing then that ain't great no, but you should be inspired by other art. The artists are inspired by art. And this is a really inspirational movie from the 1950s. So I'm just selling this more. Well, I mean, as much as I have done here in a short time, I'm trying to keep... I want to finish this faster. That's my main goal right now. Because uh, I really like... To make quick the judgments and go fast and i'm not fast right now uh, so that's right, something i want to work on and improve and the only way you can improve is by trying to do it right try to do whatever it is now look at all that light on his shoulder it's a lot of light boom right here boom right here then the light goes in and out here let me make this smaller 
goes in and out on his curving dress, like folds of the dress of this um, pants he's wearing. further and he's looking a lot better this is further back so it's further down now he's begging this samurai So I know he should be, he's like a focal point and then he should be a little bit larger. So I'm going to have to take the shortcut instead of doing it the hard way. I could do it the hard way. If you guys want me to do it the hard way, just put in the chat. Do <laughs> you want me to erase everything and start over? I'm looking at the chat for five seconds. Okay. Uh, nobody's saying anything. Do you want me to do it the erase this guy and start over I'll do it so now there's no chat reply it's all good so I'll just continue on my own okay and uh, let's see what happens uh, I'm just I mean I'm just going to make him larger this way take the easy way really he should be larger and um, yeah he just should be larger I'm not going to distort that stuff. I'll fix myself like distorting it and changing. I'll, I'll do that by hand. But just his basic size, I think, should have been a little larger. So now he's taking up more space, it's a lot more interesting. And also, let me go back and move him a little bit, move him a little bit lower uh, along this path where he's going straight. So he's definitely in their path. Okay, that's good. So this head that I drew doesn't look like his head at all. Perhaps I need a um, round brush. face I know generally where I want it where I want everything and I'm also going to cut into the face here because he's um he's a younger guy in the movie this person but I made him look really old so here's where it should cut off and here is his makes him look too gaunt like such an old so this looks more young and he has a dark shadow underneath his neck as it's coming down this way
There we go, that's better. Now I'm going to try and feel his uh, feelings in this moment. So maybe I can translate that onto my, through my brush. Now I'll go and do an alpha lock so I can get some easy tones down here. Throw that in the shadow. Throw this into shadow. Or more shadow than what was there. And drop the lock. Turn off that alpha lock. And continue. Let's do that lock again so I can save some time. But again, you know, if you're saving time, but you're also like not improving your draftsmanship, for instance. And um, so, yeah, I'll just probably go back and let me just do it the hard way. And plus, it wasn't working. <laughs> Really show that shine right there. Really show this dark eyebrows because his um, expression is very important. Okay, he looks a little younger now. <coughs> His face here is too large on the left side so what I could do is just like do this just just do this just erase it off This chin is too large, but I can also just add some shadows, right? I don't have to. Um, now imagine if you were in a situation like this, a farmer. Uh, that actually still happens today because human uh, kind of um, psychology has not changed. Everyone is still human. Like they say, the more th things change, the more they stay the same. So it's like um, you can you might have we might have cars instead of horses. We might have they might have like um, different types of firearms instead of swords. But uh, human nature or human behavior has not changed, which uh, is, is <coughs> not a good thing. Um, human beings have the positive and negative. That's part of our existence. So I guess it is, you know, it just comes with being alive. You have the positive and negative potential, and we can... Uh, uh, really appreciate people that are positive and good like the seven samurai when you contrast it with those that are not uh, doing good like those bandits you know it's a um, to do to someone else what you don't want done to yourself is a uh, hypocrisy a form of hypocrisy and it's a dishonesty but honesty really is one of the most valuable 
treasures in this life it's worth more than money money comes and goes even if you weren't honest for uh, um, if you don't you're doing consider yourself you don't do honest things you can always change and be honest so you know just wanted to say that I like these movies that have this uh, strong um, sense of that um, doing good and helping people out. It's nice. That's uh, the beautiful aspect of human nature. So I think that's looking nicer. Now I can just work on these parts in occlusion shadow here and on these spherical things you should definitely make that line go very thin because if you don't it's going to look fake it's not going to look like a round element like a uh, round element at all now the next thing I want to do is Um, you gotta put a drop shadow on this person, like a drop shadow, like a cast shadow on this person. And um, I'm gonna do a, the biggest cheat because I'm gonna at the end I'm gonna use the layer correction because I didn't want to repaint everything darker. But I noticed this for next time that I'm going to fix. I'm definitely going to um, watch the, uh, so I wasn't painting, I was erasing there. I'm going to watch my, um, very carefully, I'm going to watch my uh, tones much more carefully. So I know the mistake that I made here, and I'm going to fix that for next time. working on those uh, folds by putting highlights and creating a clear light and shadow area right here because this part is in the light right so we should be get a lot of light he has a those large fabric this is a large piece of fabric that's coming here getting all this light so I have to draw a larger piece of fabric here so I remember I was changing this positioning of this right here his other arm that way um, I can add some with my texture brush right here add some textures that's a little too dark let me darken some parts here and then in the high high highlights like really highlights um, just throw some whites in here too it's not coming as white as I want how about I just Boom, just go straight to white at the end. Boom, just throw that in there. And boom, throw it in here. here. Just like we see in the thing. But these highlights shouldn't be as, as strong. Maybe I could just shorten them. Like, you know, tone them down a little bit. So there goes my scene with everything. Now, you see what I'm missing is all this texture here on the top so maybe I'll save that for another day because I'm trying to uh, get done with today's stream I hope you guys had a really good time my my handle is jamtron art 
maybe I should write that right here. And this is after Akira Kurosawa's movie. But I'll just write here at Jamtron Art. This is on my Instagram too. And I have to write after. Oh, and today is um, 2 February. This is, let me just write like that, February 5th, 2021. Okay, and then this is after Kurosawa. Kira Kurosawa. He was also the director of like, the, he was a cinematography, he like was involved with editing, demanded uh, everything for his movies, and it, it showed because his movies were that good. They were just great and fun. And, um, I want to, and if I just keep doing this, I'm just going to get lost here. Having fun with all these things. But, uh, next time I'm going to put the textures on the top of the roof. And maybe fix some other stuff with this guy because he definitely doesn't look like <coughs> he doesn't look like him and and here his eyes are looking more at him but he was a secondary character and we're not looking at my man right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change that for next time so next time you see me i'm going to change his eyes um man i'm just going to do it right now let's just forget it and do that right now because because that's actually a big part of the story. So why should I leave it um, undone? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me just fix it right now. So I get this right here, this right here. Put all of this darker real quick, like this. Let's do this like this now. Let's say that his whole face now is here. It's a little bit more curved, which would still make sense with the placement. Now grab some darks and make him look at this man right here. Cause, cause this other one is just a young student. He's not a. He's not the real deal. He's trying to follow the real deal. He's following this big guy here, so he could be like him, so he could learn from him. And uh, so I learned a lot about uh, Japan a little bit more. Um, not a lot, but just a little bit more. And um, they had like classes, very based on class. You're born into a certain class. So you're a peasant or a farmer, or for instance, that's your class. You can't leave that class or something. You know, people have these um, things that are, those aren't the best ideas because your class is a human is as a human that's that's uh, your class you don't need to, some people think you're better than anybody else um, because then that leads to uh, you know your lower nature arrogance and everything that arrogance leads to uh, people want to feel good about themselves by pushing somebody else down which is what happened in this movie with the bandits and the peasants here farmers so now I hope that uh, I'm actually fixing his gaze and I'm making him look more at my main guy right here. At least he's looking at my man, my main guy here. No, because that looks too cartoony. Just add some small layers of detail, of indication of an eye, eyelid. 
probably getting some light. Going up to this eyebrow. He's looking in the right place this time. And you can't really see it when you zoom out. But eh. Okay, anyways, I like that more. <clears throat> Alright, well I hope you guys had a good time. Um, see me messing up and trying to improve. And I hope you do the same. Try to improve, keep practicing. And whatever it is you're trying to improve. And uh, make mistakes, embrace failure. And try and learn from it. Because... Um, that's how we succeed as human beings. Okay, have a great evening or a great day.